with change the future i've definitely been involved in too much like let's scale this up let's open this up let's duplicate this like before there's anything worth duplicating or anything happening so yeah. i don't want to do that again right let's work let's capture this story so i'm only thinking about capturing a story the whole time before the story's even fucking started happening yet mm -hmm. but maybe if i remember that and say it out loud um not in a way of like releasing it from me completely and not actually taking responsibility a bit but actually mean it when i say it unconsciously anyway let's make a documentary about really good collaboration and find out what it actually is yes yeah. because Humans often are uh, rubbish at work. And I think there's many reasons why. Also, I think there's some inspiring places they've worked at how to have people working together where they really enjoy their life and they're actually like productively creating things that have a positive impact. I want to have fun and create a positive impact at the same time with my friend Charlie. Nice one. Um, Say something to the audience of this film just in case this bit goes in, if you want. Just in case this bit goes in. Um, Do you need a boss? Hmm. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> right, my go. <laughs> uh. When you wonder if it's possible to do something really, really meaningful and it be really fun and you don't even have to burn out, how does that make you feel? Happy. <clears throat> I wonder though, man, like I wonder if it makes some people feel like, fuck, I definitely haven't been doing that for years and years and years and years and I almost need to know it's impossible. Or if some people are doing it, that it's because they've got some opportunity that landed on their lap and they're just one of the lucky ones and we can't possibly live in a world where everyone fucking loves what they're doing and yeah. actually truthfully what they're doing is really valuable. Surely that can't be possible because it's too nice. It's too happy. Yeah, it's too nice. I mean... Um, but yeah. I think there's loads of reasons why it's not happening but I mm, don't think I believe that they're all necessarily ridiculously complicated. I don't think they'll be solved overnight, but I think the best weapon we've got to tackle the obstacles to a world in which people work in a way that feels like play, basically, and is really valuable to all life for all time, which is the words I like most. Yeah. Um, the main obstacles, I think, are to do with the vast topic of crap collaboration i think why would humans know how to collaborate well that's the angle i feel like i come from like why would we know that like we're born in the western world where i'm from uh we're born into a world where you are fighting against other kids immediately in institutionalized education that's mostly based on super outdated models from a, a different era completely to win against other kids and to be measured as if you're a sack of potatoes or something but like there's so many hoops you have to jump through yeah a lot of mainstream education is like shut up stop trying to have fun and compete with the people next to you fact um trying to remember where i heard this from the other day Someone was telling me where the root of competition comes from. Satish Kumar, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, huh? You know he it. Had, uh, he had an interesting... I remember from his talk, he, he mentioned the root of competition and how it's been, like, changed and corrupted over time. 
Although that's pretty much the same with every single word in every language in every culture across the world. Yeah. Has there ever been a word that's like started off crap and then got better meaning? Like, I suppose you can't get closer to the truth from when it was first invented, can you? But it means, um, just in case this goes anywhere, it's like um, from the invention of the Olympics, no? And it meant um, it came from competer which was to get fit together. Something like that. It sounds familiar, yeah. And it's like you you don't really want to be in an Olympics where most people are like falling on the floor with scurvy and you're like, <laughs> that's like, it's not, no, it's, it's a game. That's my favourite thing about it. The Olympics yeah. is always a game. Um, and it'd be good Apparently, to put that into back in perspective. Yeah. Apparently it used to be a lot less about national identity as well and more about the individual hmm. Olympians. It's become a bit more hijacked by Britain is winning, etc. <clears throat> or in reality, Britain is sixth place. <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay, cool. I'm going to... I'm going to switch out of my um, I'm on TV mode. Um, I'm going to go for a wee. So okay. Just, um, chat, okay. Chat amongst yourselves for a while. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to be back here in 173 seconds.
Boy. Let's have a look at your house. Okay, here's the window. This house is way too nice. Whose house is this? This is my parents' apartment. Fuck, man. You're high. I'm going to... So I see you more. Wow. You can kill yourself by jumping down there. If you want. Yeah, that would be a very efficient way to go to sleep forever. Yeah. Trees. There's still some trees left, isn't there? Yeah, this area is pretty nice, actually. There's lots of trees. Mm. Most of Sao Paulo is not like that, though. Most of it's like just tall buildings, as far as your eye can see. This is... Shit. That's cool. This is nice. Fuck. Wow. Get dog! <clears throat> Dog. Okay, nice one. <laughs> hey, hey. How are you? Yeah, nice. Thanks. I feel like a yeah, Charlie. If you look at my face, and then I'll do this when I'm walking, and you can just move forward. Come <laughs> that way. <laughs> like this. Oh god, my room is a mess. It's embarrassing. No, did you move house? Um, I think I might just be about to move into a place finally, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, they seem like a nice the... bunch, nice bunch of students. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, they're it's cool. Where are you right now? Are you in our office? Yeah, yeah, this is my office space, yeah. Cool, it looks pretty nice. Oh. Oh look, I, <laughs> I thought this was the camera, but it's obviously not because you're looking at it. So, ah. <laughs> right. so you're gonna you're gonna see through this camera now. Ready? Da 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 da. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> no. Oh. Good camera, this one. Good. All right. Anyway, so uh, that's. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, oh. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That's exciting. <laughs> so what are you doing, Maddie? What, are you working on something right now? Uh, yes, I am working on a website, ebgarden.com. Yeah, Check no. it out. I already did, actually. Oh. Ah, <laughs> it's still in Portuguese. In Portuguese only, but we're going to find a way to do in English as well. So it'll be better. Yeah, well, I... Uh, I, I use the Chrome browser on my Android phone, so it translates it. Clever. Mm, yeah. Clever. And soon going to meet some people about sharing nature, deep ecology, so excited about it. Talk about projects together. It's really nice. Nice beans. Hello? You are mute. Your voice is gone. Hello, how about now? Is that good? Hello. Back. Yeah, I don't think my um my shiny webcam's working properly. But yeah, um yeah, it looks nice on a mobile device, man, and all the words were very beautiful. There were some nice pictures on it. Yay. And stuff on there. Awesome! Yeah, we need to keep working on it. We do. It's very still very bare bones. Bare bones. <laughs> <laughs> Right, no, no meat on it. Okay. <laughs> right, no. Redley, let's, let's um, hide sure. into a productivity den if you want to. If you're ready. And you, what have you, do, what have you doing, look? Um, really I'm just making doing. films, man, and like exploring human collaboration, basically. That's what I do. I, I say, yeah, that's, that's what I say I do now. What does mm. exploring human collaboration mean? I go to events about organisations and decision making and democracy and stuff and explore how people don't listen to each other properly or explore how people do sometimes listen to each other in groups that sometimes don't listen to each other. <laughs> <laughs> ironic. Um, 
<laughs> no, but yeah, it's there's loads of interesting things. It's that thing, isn't it, of like, especially when you have the internet and you get better at looking in certain corners of the internet and when you make certain friends and become part of networks and events and spaces, you just more and more and more just find yourself ridiculously focused and effective in immersing yourself in a universe that it's like when they pointed that telescope into deep space and you're like oh just yeah perfecting the art of the art and science of good human collaboration that creates a thriving planet for all life for all time and then it's just like universes just fucking galaxies explode out of darkness <laughs> Tchau. Comida na geladeira. Tchau. Fridge. 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 Lovely. Fridge. Obrigado. Is that Mary's mum? That's my mum. Quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. She's not very aware of what's going on. I was like, we were talking on Skype. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> man on YouTube. <laughs> Sick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Um, yeah. If I find any interesting projects and groups doing collaborative stuff, I'll share with you. Yeah, and nice. Keep an eye on. I know in Brazil there are a lot of cool stuff happening, but usually like very small groups. So I'm not sure if it's. I mean, okay. it's still interesting to get to know, but it's usually like much smaller, mm. like in the neighborhood. Um, mm. Have you heard yeah. of Dragon Dreaming? I went to a Dragon Dreaming workshop. Oh. Um, how was your experience? Cool, man. Yeah, cool. Uh, in fact, um, Nara, uh, who was facilitating it, hosting it, um, uh, came to the Welcome to Change the Future day at Preston Max House, where Jem was cooked all that yummy food and stuff. Oh, nice. I think back to those days, and I just think, my God, the things I would have done so differently. Like, that was like a started off so lovely it's just like a welcome new people to this ambitious young crazy idea eat some lovely food chill greet meet all these new faces and then somehow i thought it was a good idea to like go right into the deep intricacies of like operations and organizational structure and stuff like no no <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so she's awesome. I haven't spoken to her that much, though. She's done quite a lot of stuff in Findhorn and things, I think. Um, so you felt it was quite, I don't know, just very, like, focused into this methodology or... What, with Dragon Dreaming? Yeah. Um, yeah, so what do I remember about it? It was, it was good, like, what, three years ago now or something? Yeah, it's um, been a while. Because we really would like to learn more about it because it might help to develop projects. I heard it's really, really cool mm. methods, isn't it? Yeah, I remember it being quite arts and craftsy, sort of like hands on, but not so much so that, you know, accountants who don't think they are artistic, um, you know, will kind of go Ugh, and disengage, but just like simple kind of. I remember having some kind of layout and a way that you move around the group. It seemed like a generative, sort of quite art of hosting style um, technique, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think art of hosting taught me. Art of hosting. They're like I, as far as I am aware, they are kind of the kind of the masters of like hosting useful conversations about meaningful things mm. like groups of activists or city planners or the council or organizations companies like all kinds of different diverse groups conversations that really go deep into people and draw out uh, wisdoms that even they might not have realized they had mm -hmm. spaces where people actually listen to each other and um, don't just forget about it and go to work business as usual the next day Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard the art of hosting. I, I know a guy here in Brazil who, who mediates that, mm. but I don't know much about how it works. Or, oops. Mm. Yeah, they talk about how to not. Um, they advocate not just focusing too much on like the tools and all the sort of. Like they they give you a whole book after you go on a course with them with 
like World Cafe and open space technology and triads and all these sort of really handy sort of tricks to have up your sleeve. Um, mm. I mean, but they literally are tools, and like you can give you can give any random person like some ultimate toolkit, but it doesn't mean they have any idea when to use what tool or how much force to put into it or like when it's the right time or whatever like and some things just need to be broken hmm. okay okay sure yeah crack on, crack on. Crack on. Uh, with your okay. love i just need to go to the bank quite soon okay especially for meeting in the after so. uh yeah you want to go with me um depends how soon i guess uh, what time is it? It is. Yeah. Three. So, yeah. This be right. Give me a shout when you're ready, Charles. You settle okay. somewhere you can concentrate in. Give me a um, Luke, do you reckon we can wrap it up within half an hour? Uh, yeah, about 5.30. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it'd be nice to have some kind of. Um, I can still hear you. I'm just plugging in my charger. Oh, yeah. It feels like it'd be nice to. Um, yeah, work out how we want to meet a little bit. I don't want to be like structury and stuff too much, but like it's just a way that, um, like a conscious way to sort of after we've had a video call or whatever, we can kind of just pick up where we've left off because both of us clearly are doing a lot of other things. So it'd be really nice to um, have a, a nice, neat container for everything regarding this project. Yes, um, I agree. But I think that would really help me. Like a, uh, in terms of like a Google Doc, for example, or a folder. Something like that, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is the right time, uh, but I've just been looking at, uh, do you want to go to do.com? Do.com. It's kind of like simple project management, but based around meetings. So like you have a really intentional meeting that's not just for the sake of it. You have like, you, you work out what you want to actually look at or explore or achieve in that meeting beforehand and then you have the meeting using the tool and then um like any action points that come out are like okay. integrated into it i don't know I, I, i'm kind of just curious and feel like playing with it i guess how do we uh how do we join our accounts because i followed the link that you sent on an email a few days ago uh, okay so i've got my face on there but i'm not sure how to connect to you yet uh -huh. Um, I am the flag on there, I think. Oh, yeah, because I think I've signed in with Google. Yeah, I signed in with my Google account. Oh, shite. I've just, I think I've just logged me out. Fuck, I wish I hadn't done that. Ugh. Um, hang on a second. I just fucked something up, I think. Maybe not. I just... I'm doing this Google Hangout with um, the Change the Future account, uh, and I've just logged out. I just need a minute to undo my stupid thing I've done. <clears throat> but yeah, I'd, I'd really like to just pick, like maybe if you feel like it, just list like a couple of questions, like a small handful of questions, big and small ones that you feel like in this collaboration you're most interested in exploring. And if you can like maybe do a little one, medium one, big one. I think we've kind of mostly done that already, but just like kind of lay them down. It, I'd really love those to be in recorded somewhere that at least you and I can collaborate. But it'd be really nice to share it as well. And then yeah. just friends of ours who are megalodon fucking guru cooperation nut jobs and filmmakers as well can just be like, oh, you're looking for a collaborative cloud editing thing. Here you go. You know about this. Yeah. Just, just invite opportunities for that. Wait, so clarify that again, please. Uh, um, question, biggest yeah, question. That, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'd imagined with that Trello board. 
Um, so yeah, maybe Trello is simpler and more familiar than Do. But yeah, do you remember this collaboration documentary Trello board? I'm just going to link it to you again. Um, although this is quite, uh, this isn't really questions based. Maybe they could be, I don't know. I mean, some things are not actually questions. Like sometimes it's just like, how can I build, I don't know, yeah, where can I buy sustainable, sustainably sourced paper clips or something? And then like there's definitely an action at some point, isn't there? Just like actually buy the paper clips. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah like where like where's the, like if we want to buy flights to um Mexico or something and we're like what's the most what's the cheapest and most ethical way to get to Mexico and there might be, you know one of our friends might be like a travel guru and can give some really good ideas around that but then at some point there's also the actions of um just actually do it <clears throat> there's a contradiction with the word ethical and long distance travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Across seas, at least, anyway. Yeah. That's um, uh, not a lot we can do about that, I guess, at the moment. Do you think, um, well, does it interest you to, uh, as we work on this documentary, uh, to map our questions that we're exploring and acting on. Map the questions, really. Hmm. So, like, I'm doing at the moment with BPEC. I'm getting them to um, kind of like just drop their buzzwords and their sort of branding and the things they're used to saying to funders and stuff a bit, and just experiment with um, identifying what questions actually motivate them most and drive their activity most. Yeah. Um, because if you just make a statement, it doesn't make me feel invited to respond or to work with you or help you, you know, join forces really necessarily. I might, I might agree. Best case scenario is I'll go, yeah, I totally agree with that. And sort of, so what, you know, so if you can tell me the questions that you or your project is most invested in exploring right now, like with the Peace and Environment Center, it might be, um, getting hold of a space in Brighton that's free to use for half a day and is comfortable and can be used for some new projects that they're starting up. That might be one of their questions. And I'd be really surprised if that question hasn't already been answered pretty comprehensively by someone. You know, like as soon as you see that question, you can go, oh, uh, I think I saw a resource that a couple of people made that like indexes all of the free to use for charities spaces in Brighton mm. that's nice I like the idea of mo listing our motivating questions hmm yeah but I mean I reckon also practical logistical ones as well because they are sometimes the easiest ones to answer people might yeah. come along and just be like oh, okay so you want to um, <clears throat> you want to like yeah it just might be is there a sort of peer reviewed or sort of um, substantial kind of criticism of Frederick Lelou's reinventing organizations anywhere? Like some big blog of someone who's like deeply explored it, who's written some whatever, you know, and then people can go, yeah, check this link out or talk to this person. Yeah. That's still mm. quite visionary, I suppose. <laughs> um, Okay, so there's two types of questions then. There's the practical, like, help the project now questions. Mm. And the deeper motivating questions. Yeah. So did, you, did you get the link to that? Um... Example, like a motivating question, for me, uh, might be, where can I find examples of humans thriving together mm -hmm. that would be a motivating question for me yeah any others 
Any others that feel immediate and really important and motivating? Really well. Um, this project. What, what are the barriers to human collaboration? Whether that's psychological or sociological, biological. I want to understand what it is that prevents us from really working well together. Mm. And then second to that, how to un overcome these barriers or dissolve them. How can, um, how can individuals overcome their own barriers or how, how just more generally how can the barriers be overcome yeah because i guess one is potentially through the lens of i i help myself or an organization helps people do you know what i mean but so maybe this is the broadest most objective way of phrasing it how can these barriers be overcome some is working on yourself, some is helping others. Yeah. <coughs> okay, maybe we can put these questions in the Google Doc. Perhaps. I thought I was thinking about this and I thought maybe yeah, a Google Doc does mean that people can um reply without making an account isn't it that's so rare yeah yeah um yeah, yeah. i remember that being pretty good okay yeah, yeah. So, i'll boss you a, a link to one yeah mm -hmm. um, well we've got the collaboration we've already started the collaboration documentary oh, okay Could Yes, yeah, right, yeah. Where it says our values, mission and purpose. That's it. Define best examples. Cool. So maybe I'll just... I got it. Add. Documentary about humans thriving in collaboration. Yeah. Um, Motivating questions nice 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 i'm just gonna add those in to have a record did you type them while you were writing them yeah What do you have that comes to mind? What questions that motivate? Um, <clears throat> what, uh, yeah, like a kind of, I mean, I feel like we're so aligned. I wonder if it's worth just us talking and then combining one in a way. <laughs> I want to put one there, which is uh, what um, makes them different. Nice. Okay, let's just get rid of my name then and combine them. So collaborative, isn't it? This is just literally collaboration. I like it. Nice. Um... Yeah, I like that question a lot. What makes them different? It's pretty important. What does it feel like to be in them? Mm, nice. That's so important. Because that's it, isn't it? That's the thing that, like, a lot of sort of, like, statistical, like, research doesn't really get at deeply. You need this, like, qualitative... What does it really mean to be a human in collaboration that works? Mm. What does it yeah. feel like? 
Nice. I think people know how they feel if they stop and tune into themselves a bit. So I think you know what kind of collaboration you're in just by like Greg talks so much about how there's so many answers just inside yourself. There's so much yeah. wisdom inside yourself, like whoever you are, wherever you are, if you only can just learn a little bit how to listen to yourself. Yeah. He does that. He he talks a lot about your body helping with that, like just literally how your body sort of physically feels or Yeah. I suppose you, I suppose it's not just physical, that's the point. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, physical. I guess it's intertwined, isn't it? It's hard to separate them. Yeah, and we all too often try to, just like yeah. nature and humans, as if they were different things. Yeah. yeah. Ah, there's another question um, that I really wonder about when reading reinventing organisations. Like some of them, like Bertzorg. I really connect with because I feel like the thing that they're actually doing is like really in line with like you know something more deeply human but then there's other there's other organizations that are making like I don't know bit for cars or or like selling stuff to probably like military companies or whatever and just wonder like how does that fit in like where where are like the underlying ethics hmm. or for me, more interestingly the like ecological context how do these organizations fit into the, the thriveability of the planet and humans in this planet yeah or do they just not try to just yeah. Me, just one sec. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. Good. Thank you. I'm just in the middle of a meeting. Uh, I've got like 20 seconds. If you've got a quick update for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the update. That's great. Cheers, All right? Take care. Bye. Awesome. Um cool. <clears throat> that thing is Um. um yeah what's the best way to capture this story that's fucking massive isn't it what's the mm. best way to i like that go on then uh yeah how can we yeah. best capture this story And share. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> How best can we capture and share the story? I would like to put a uh, a little sub point in that without being obsessed with perfection <laughs> yeah agrees Luke while making sure all of the line breaks are evenly spaced <laughs> <laughs> help oh god did you see that documentary? It looked like it had a lot of promise. There's some budding young filmmakers traveling around the planet exploring thriving collaboration. No, oh, yes, I saw that. But their line breaks and their Google Doc weren't all parallel. I think we need to cut the 
funding opportunity. <laughs> I've just invented. <laughs> yeah. I've invented a new term. <laughs> so lovely. Um. <clears throat> I suffer from perfection paralysis quite often. B. Yeah. Something I would like to overcome. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous, isn't it? I, <laughs> I too suffer from this ailment. <laughs> um, let me just make this lighting perfect. <laughs> I think mean, it's just one step at a time, isn't it, Charlie? It's just like reduce the dose. And then um, maybe one day we'll have a fucking fighting chance. Mm. There you go, that will... Oh, but I think there's, there is, there's definitely a lot of value in being like giving impeccable attention and care to detail when it becomes necessary. And it's a, I think the challenge is to know when to care about like, impeccability and perfection and when to get over it and make things carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think about how to reword it concisely this question I have about ethics and ecology, like ecological context. Like planetary context, I guess. I think we should put big, massive, visionary ones at the top and small, practical, immediate ones at the bottom. Yeah, okay. At the bottom, I reckon I'd like to put um, how best might we... Um, uh, invite support from people who really want to help. Yeah. Like, just sharing these motivating questions is an example of that, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I like that. Um. It's funny, man. I was thinking, like, I really want to feel part of a collaboration that is not just meta. It's not like yeah. an umbrella or a network or something. Like it actually directly benefits people, not just right. directly through like a sort of support network or like yeah. uh, treating or like trying to create good soil for stuff to happen, but it also directly does stuff too. I think I'd yeah. like to be part of that too. And I wonder if it, for me, it feels good to like, because I can be part of, I feel like I can be part of several projects and like, so, oh man, I haven't told you anything about the Change the Future conversation that we had, the Reflecting on Change the Future at Coachworks. Uh, what, sorry, Coachworks, did you say? Yeah, in Brighton, this like community centre, we had that conversation you weren't obviously able to come to, that was like yeah. stopping and looking at how it's felt to be part of change the future for each of us wow. okay um, cool how did it go at, yeah i'm writing up a thing about what happened and we took some photos of the uh like visual stuff that we collected from people we like we did it a little bit art of hosting style like very simple but um, yeah. yeah it was really valuable i think man like we agreed a lot there was a lot of people agreeing more than they expected to with each other i think um, but still working out that there's like, um, we do want slightly different qualities of collaboration still in some ways, like some wanting, like being more open to tech and openness and transparency, and active outward collaboration and others wanting more of a kind of smaller, more intimate personal gathering type thing. Yeah. And like, and where do you kind of draw a line if anywhere and sort of say, we shouldn't be part of the same project or maybe not heavily invested in the same project we need to be doing different things or like when's the point when you kind of decide that like it can there 
what decides whether an intentional community or project can involve literally almost any kind of person or whether it has to be a really specific kind of person that's driving it and steering it yeah mm. so yeah man and like yeah teal have really worked on a lot of these things and I, I think i really need to catch up with them i want to put quite a specific one in there which is um what work have teal done uh around these questions already yeah Nice. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say till yeah, movements and already existing organizations that are practicing. Hmm. But I really like the format of um Oh man, I'm almost tempted to put a section in here that's like stuff we've decided and can now move forward with. So yeah. like, I don't know, and that could be sort of like growing. Okay. Mission and purpose, it's definitely different to mission, purpose and values. It kind of feels like outcomes, like steps forward. Um, so like for example if we decide that you're going to film some stuff in brazil i'm going to film some stuff in the uk or whatever or like yeah. you, like the stuff we've decided man like the amount of hours a week that we've decided to commit and we can go back and review and see whether we've actually done what we said or if we want to sort of go revisit it yeah should we try having a section in this doc called stuff we've decided uh yeah decisions present decisions or something like that um, so I guess it's a question until we've decided. Once it stops being a question, it's because we've made a decision. Yeah. Um, answers? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, start filming stuff now. That was one of the answers to a question. When should we? We could put the question at the top, maybe. Yeah. When it feels right. Um, holding our vision and vision names <coughs> and values in mind so with the go with the impulse to capture moments of stories yeah them like I mean, I think this should apply to you and me, like being out and about in our daily lives. Just if we feel like there's a moment that feels relevant to this documentary, it might end up being our favourite shot in the whole film, and it's just just a throwaway shot from our phone, like on a train or something. Yeah, I think that's it. Not being afraid to shoot without perfection, just yeah. stuff on phones and whatever we've got available. Yeah. Um, with I think there's a lot to be said for intuition I think like intuition uh, with like questioning I'm really like feel free to yeah you know crit critique these words or whatever but I'm just kind of thinking aloud and um, intuition and questioning like I feel like with intuition you're recognizing that there's wisdom in yourself that you haven't necessarily fully recognized yet which I think is really important because yeah. 
actually you can probably never really know all of the thing all the sort of wisdom that you've got and they may just be like social wisdom like how you are with your mum or kids or with yeah. um, really shy people or maybe aggressive people or maybe you've got a lot of wisdom around how to respond to somebody who's just like crashed their motorbike or like yeah. really unexpected situations you never really realize yeah. and psychotherapists will help to hopefully like tease out the solution from yourself rather than give it to you from some external yeah. source that you always rely on um but at the same time if you go too much with intuition i think sometimes you can you can miss out on opportunity to um challenge your ideas and, yeah. and be scientific i think intuition is such a, a blurry one because it can be really hard to see what is like truly important intuition and what is like i guess uh stuff that's gone through our cultural filters that is not so useful yeah it's very i, I find it it can be very blurry because some people might say they have a very strong intuition about something but they might just be talking about i don't know uh Jesus's second coming or something. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty easy to mix up intuition with just that's something I want to believe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think that is a really a, a really sophisticated art is yeah being able to listen to a deeper intuition, I guess. Yeah, like because if you, I don't think I'm very necessarily very good at. I don't really know. Like where you can surprise yourself with how you handle a situation. I think that's when you know that you've found a good relationship with your intuition, I think, is when you kind of go, I'm just going to really fucking trust myself in this moment and just go with just what feels right. You know, not, not being too lazy to look at evidence or, or logic that's presenting itself to you as if it was something boring or irrelevant because it's really freaking useful if you're designing an important system or making a big decision or affecting people's lives but um yeah. but yeah if you if you if it comes to it and your best resource like just your intuition like just kind of allowing yourself to magnify what can sometimes feel like a pretty small voice hidden away somewhere inside you and just go in yeah. Come on, mate. I trust you. What do you What do you actually feel like is right right now? It can cut through some of the bullshit stuff on the surface. I think sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting one, man. That's just so. All of these things. I I love that this is the story already now because there's just a million and one ways that we could make this film. And there's a million and one ways you can run a school. There's a million and one ways you can sell burgers or run a taxi company. And I think first and foremost, isn't it just worth recognizing how much that applies across all different types of collaboration? Yeah. Little charities, informal community projects, massive multinational corporations like it's all got human beings in it. Decisions are always being made. Actions are always being taken. Like stuff will sometimes go wrong. How do you respond to that? How yeah. open are you about what you're doing and why you're doing it? Like, are you totally truthful and honest with the people that you sell stuff to or people whose lives you affect with your decision-making and actions? Mm. There's so much, man, and I love that by making this film, we're not just exploring it from a sort of removed, sort of kind of just faceless, nameless camera crew floating around doing a fly on the wall documentary. We're like, as we make this film, we will be collaborating. It's not just you and me. We'll be, we'll have a, a sort of audience that we want to not just be a passive audience, but be engaged and inspired and educated and equipped by this film, hopefully. 
be yeah. something genuinely useful for them. But yeah, so we've got, they're involved, they're like a stakeholder of our collaboration. Then we've got people who will help us, I'm sure, with our documentary from potentially funders of, of some sort at least. And then kind of other collaborators, the people who we go and visit, so like people in advisory roles who bounce ideas with us. Maybe we'll involve people in the edit or other sort of technical production aspects. You might as well call that a company or a charity or whatever. It's a collaboration for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I've just added a question on motivating questions. How can we make this project a collaboration? Hmm. Um, I'm going to have to go now. Wait, let's. can we just tweak that sentence if you have a second just before you run away? Yeah. Isn't it, how could it not be a collaboration? Do those words feel right? How can it not be a collaboration? I mean, like, uh, when I read that question, I think, but it's, of course it's going to be a collaboration. Like, it can't not be two people doing something together. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we, uh, I feel like there's a built-in assumption that we want to be teal like how can we how can we um, make sure we're always questioning and developing the quality of our own collaboration Maybe. how can we make sure oh yeah how can we How can we crit? Uh, yeah. How can we critically question and advance our collaboration, or something like that? Mm. Difficult. Yeah. yeah, it's about questioning, and it's. Are we on the same page? That it's about like just not just doing the documentary. Just like McDonald's shouldn't just sell burgers because people seem to want them and cows seem to still keep being born. And <laughs> it just seems that nothing's like preventing it from happening, so therefore it must be valuable. But rather than that, be like, even when it feels like it's going well and we're doing good, like just never stop being curious about how we might be a better example of collaboration. How can we, yeah, kind of. I think I, I was trying to, um, the question I was wondering in more detail, I guess, was about just how can we presently be an effective collaboration with this project, I suppose, as well, yeah, as well as this sort of, like, questioning and, Evolving. Uh, maybe that's part of the same thing, I guess. Hmm. What What do you want? What will that question help avoid happening? Um. Good question. It will help avoid. Um. It will help avoid the project being not an example of what it's looking for. Okay. How can this project be an example of what it's looking for? How can we practice what we preach making this film? Or how can we practice what we seek? Hmm. Because we're not necessarily preaching anything yet. But yeah, but I mean, mm -hmm. but I think we should probably have an we should probably have an idea what I think we can have you and I. I think it's cool for I feel fine having an idea of what I think is good and bad collaboration, so long as it comes hand in hand with the knowledge that I'm just starting out really on this journey and like. 20 years ago, I didn't care about this sort of stuff at all. And 15 years ago, 
it was still like very new to me it was only really like kind of 13 years ago I started developing an interest in these things and only really like seven years ago that I started acting on that interest and sort of exploring far and wide so um, yeah. there's a big unknown I think you and I are pretty in agreement and pretty comfortable in in the fact that like there's a lot left for us to learn but I think within that we can still um, yeah not preach something I think yeah I get your question and I think it's super important yeah and adapt to new knowledge yeah I mean practice yeah. what we preach yeah I think that I mean man like we can change this but yeah let's that's Good enough for now yeah I really Why? I'm gonna um crack on because we need to get going now okay cool man um so yeah let's let's catch up again within a uh, within the next week i guess we just arrange something so we don't do a kind of like hanging forth thing okay uh, i'll fit to you oh bugger it's very up in the air what it's going to be happening over the next week because it's it's the uh, carnival in Brazil. Carnival. 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 Yeah. Um, we might be going to. Actually, we're probably not going to Rio. Mm. Maybe a week from now. Tuesday, same time next week. Should we try that? How's that work for you? <clears throat> um, Tuesday next week is good. Um, yeah. Should we do? Yeah. I'd, personally, I'd love to do like a long one again, like at least as long as this, but with the intention to at least try, um, like taking action as much as chatting. I feel like we've definitely yeah. been really productive, inspiring, clarifying, and and I feel like we've we these motivating questions and answers and stuff feels really like useful. It feels like steps forward yeah. for sure. Um, but oh. yeah, just maybe even more of that. So just kind of maybe yeah. crowdfunding pages, phoning people, like whatever, like building things. Yeah, yeah maybe even um, you know, shooting stuff. Okay, just wondering about Monday because I just remembered on the ninth there might be we might be go, we're probably going out actually. Okay, Monday the eighth instead. Monday the eighth, yeah. Nice, cool. So yeah, maybe very loosely I was thinking some kind of check in, catch up, and then a period of like just mostly doing some things. I, I, it would just feel so nice, I think, to um, decide a couple of achievable small action things. And then do them and sort of report back an hour later or something and just go, this is where I got to. And it'd just be really nice. To... Yeah. But that's just me. I like that. Cool. Okay. Let's, um... So what, like, what, two till five or something? Okay, let's go with that for now. I'll, um... Cool. Let you know if, if that becomes impossible for whatever reason yeah cool all right badger nice, nice one. one you big brazilian man putting that uh, in mind i always want to chat to you more and see your life more mm. i want to teleport yeah. there man. that'd be lovely I, I look forward to teleportation devices you are there for quite a long time aren't you i might just fucking fly over That'd be amazing. Um, flights are really naughty, though. <laughs> flights are shit. It's true. Okay, bye. Bye, kisses, hugs. Bye. Bye, bye. now.